Welcome back to the Midday Show. Joining us on set today, we've got Dr. Preeti Desai, who is a laser implant specialist, here to talk about our teeth and keeping them beautiful. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Are you enjoying your summer? Yes, it's fantastic. It's been gorgeous, hasn't it? Very lucky. So nice. But, you know, when there's summer, there's a lot of things that we like to do in the summer, like eat some lovely fresh fruit and berries and drink our wine. And maybe that's not so good. Not all the time for your teeth. Of course, mm -hmm. very healthy, mm -hmm. uh, have all your vitamins and uh, nutrients and stuff, but the side effect is your teeth do take a little bit of a beating as a result. Mm -hmm. So there, there's ways to avoid it. That's good. Well. Yep. That's good. So we don't have to completely avoid the foods that we're going to talk about? No, no, of course oh, not. Oh, thank goodness. Never. Okay, you can stay. <laughs> Especially wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the things that do stain our teeth. Yeah. Of course, wine is our number one culprit, and the thought is only red wine would have done it, but actually white wine is just as acidic. Interesting. And with other foods, the acidity makes your teeth porous, and as a result, your teeth can absorb um, pigments and tannins that are not, you know, likely not to good. create white teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this is one of my favorite things to eat in the summer. Yeah, mine too. And so unfortunately there's natural pigments in blackberries, blueberries, and even strawberries. Um, so with the acidity, again, it can be absorbed into the natural uh, tooth surface. Mm -hmm. And so if you're able to brush or actually have cheese, complementary, there's oh. natural casein in cheese that can counteract the staining aspect of it so it's not as severe. Okay, well that's great because I love yeah. cheese. Yeah, so eat, eat them together. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, some other culprits? Of course. I mean, I kind of brought up the Halloween candies. We're a little bit further away from there, but the hard, sticky, boiled candies are mm. the worst because not only are they sticky, but they're also sweet. And then they have these, um, if uh, things are made overseas now, weird pigments in them, oh, okay. that uh, the taffies and stuff, which actually stick to the tooth. Again, yeah. it's nasty. That is nasty. Yeah. So obviously some things that we can do though to make it a little bit better, like yeah. the cheese you were talking about. Yeah. And just going and brushing your teeth, obviously. Brushing your teeth there, even having water. Like, I mean, you're not always gonna be at your toothbrush in your sink. Yeah. At, uh, you know, a friend's mm -hmm. house, for example, having a dinner party. But if you can drink water every time you have a cup of, or a cup of coffee or a sip of wine, that actually dilutes it. Mm -hmm. And then of course, uh, some people I've seen drink out of a straw. They even wine out of a straw. Not too classy, but it certainly <laughs> avoids the tooth aspect of things and okay. can avoid the exposure of your tooth. Now, you did just quickly mention coffee in there. Coffee is one of the most prevalent ones for causing stains. Coffee is actually one of the worst because it's more acidic than tea. Mm -hmm. And um, often people do drink it black and it uh, gets into actually deeper layers of dentin. And so that brown look over years and years, mm -hmm. it is worse with coffee, even versus tobacco. Tobacco. Really? Yeah, tobacco staining um, can also get deeper, but it takes longer to do so. Uh, and I was reading something too that uh, unfortunately with coffee, it, it makes it harder to get it off as well, it's the, the kind of staining that it is. It's very tenacious. So even though you'll go to your dental hygienist and get a cleaning, mm -hmm. they really have to work at it. It just sticks harder to the tooth. Hmm. So with coffee, is there anything we can do? I mean, we can't give up coffee, obviously. Most people yeah, live on it, right? Yeah. So brushing right away. Right. Having c cream or milk in it oh, actually okay. neutralizes the staining. So those black coffee drinkers are the worst. Um, and yeah, water again afterwards if you're not right at your sink. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, coffee breath is bad anyway, so you have to do something. You have to do something. Right? Yeah. Now, I did hear somebody once tell me that if you chewed gum afterwards, that would help a little bit too. Or I is think, that bad? No, I think it does help. Of course, make sure it's sugar-free, which most are today, mm -hmm. but it actually increases salivary flow and starts to flush things away. Uh, okay. There's nothing as good as brushing, but these are all crutches. Okay. Yeah. So have fun, but be smart about it. Exactly, like anything in life, right? <laughs> and then your teeth will be nice and white like hers are. <laughs> Dr. Preeti Desai joining us here on the Midday Set today. We'll be back in just a moment.